Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Arm Wrestling Simulator, where today we've got a mighty challenge ahead of us. Now, we're going to be spending pretty much all of today here in the Halloween event, which is pretty funny because it feels like it was just last week when World 15 was released and we were over here grinding everything in the main game. But as is usual in Arm Wrestling Simulator, whenever there's an event world, we gotta grind it. And that is still definitely true with the Halloween event because we have a new area being unlocked in just under five days now. This is the first zone, I guess first area that was unlocked. There's a bunch of amazing rewards. You can get a bunch of bosses you can fight and a bunch of really good pets and items you could purchase using the candy currency that they dropped in the game. But just a few days ago, they released this second area up here, which you needed 10,000 candy to unlock. Of course, we had 10,000 candy. We already unlocked it. And well, we've been exploring everything there is to explore. Oh, there we go. We can finally pick up the premium event pass. And we need to do that because we're going to be spending a lot of time on our account today over the next few days so it'd be really sick if we can get one of these giga pets which you get by basically spending 60 hours on the game you keep resetting the pass and then you can claim this pet completely for free so maybe we can even do that in today's video who knows but with this halloween event of being in full swing there are some really crazy op bosses that are here to defeat and if we go check out our witch strength arm which where do we even get this from in the first place i think it was from no it wasn't from the merchant oh it was from the arm crate yeah this new halloween Halloween arm crate. It was a one in a thousand chance and we were lucky enough to snag it. So we're super strong and we can already beat all of the final bosses here on my main account, which is really great because, well, we get 365 Halloween candy, which we could use for a bunch of different things. The main thing is over here in this new area, there is a brand new best Halloween egg, the haunted egg, which I think, I mean, this is one in a thousand, 10,000. This is one in a hundred thousand. And so I think this is like one in 250,000, the haunted high it's a guaranteed best friend eight. There's also a chance of you getting a best friend nine and best friend 10, which is crazy. And this is guaranteed best friend seven. So I want to try to open a ton of these eggs and spend like a hundred million candy. Now there's a few ways we can actually get that accomplished spending that much candy. The first is, well, we need to get strong. And fortunately we've, we've already done that. We've been grinding over the past week and we're really strong. And like I just showed you, we can already beat the pumpkin guards. That's the first thing. Get strong to beat better bosses, to get Halloween candy. We can also uh, participate in the ghost hunting trick or treating thing. Thing, which basically you get five minutes in here to run around, beat up a bunch of ghosts and bosses. And with my candy thief team, which gives me a boost on the candy I get, we are getting, as you can see, a lot of candy every time we beat one of these bosses. But it is manual. As you can see, I have to run around. I have to click. I have to go find these ghosts. And so it's not something I can just leave on in the background while I do something else or while I go to sleep. So personally, we're not going to be using the ghost hunting and you can only do it around three times per hour. And so factoring all that in, it's just a lot easier easier to sit here and afk the pumpkin guard we can get around 300,000 halloween candy per hour from this one account and this one boss alone which is really great but we need even more if we want a chance to spin a whopping 100 million candy across this egg and across the haunted merchant which i think just has the same items down there i mean look it's a guaranteed best for an eight 600,000. we could buy like a hundred of these until i have a bunch of candy left over that's crazy if we want to get all this candy we need to get some candy thief enchants and i might thinking bro what the heck is that let me explain so in the halloween event there is this enchant going around or enchant that you can get on your pets called candy thief now it looks like they might have actually buffed this if i'm not mistaken candy thief three okay i am mistaken they didn't buff it candy thief what it does is as you see it gives you a multiplier on the amount of candy you get so if we go ahead and uh, equip best and then unequip all you'll see that if we go and fight the pumpkin guard we were just getting 365 candy we're now getting 65 so with a full team of candy thief pets we are getting an in insane like 6x boost 600% boost on our candy so that's really great but with this new area they added the enchanted well now it says put your halloween pets in for a free enchantment and that enchant happens to be candy thief which is awesome so let me go grab let me just go open uh this egg three times because that's how many we're able to get so let's just put on our luck team just for fun in case we get anything good with three eggs it's not gonna happen but i might as well you know make them count so let's see three eggs first one haunted phantom that's probably what we're gonna get three times in a row what is the multiplier on this? That is, I don't actually know. We'll have to go find out and see. So Haunted Phantom, what are you going to give me, sir? You're going to give me a 3.8x base multiplier. So with a void, that's like a 7 and we're almost 8x multiplier. So these are really good pets, but we can make them even better by putting them in the enchanted well. Once they go in here, after 30 minutes, we can pull them out. And I think we should be getting, I believe it is Candy Thief 3 enchanted pets because I just a few days ago put these zombie pets in there. And when I 
I took them out, they all had Candy Thief 3, which is crazy because right now my team has a lot of like Candy Thief 2s, Candy Thief 1s, which those pets basically suck for enchants. Like there you go. Literally a Candy Thief 1 gives you a 3% boost on your multiplier. Like bro, that is nothing. If we want 100 million candy, we need to get those big Candy Thief 3 10% multiplier pets on our team. Not those crappy Candy Thief 1s. Who even cares? And there's actually a third way we can get even more candy for this event to spend. And the way we do that is by having alt accounts. As you guys know, we've got about eight alt accounts that I've been secretly training up strength in the background. Like, look at this, bro. This account, okay, funny enough, I have zero candy. I, I can't even get to the last zone. I'm literally broke, but I'm so strong. I have 36 billion strength. I'm 10 times stronger than my main account, and I can't even get out of here. Oh my gosh. Wait, if we equip best, do I have any candy thief pets? No, bro. I have no candy thief pets. See, that's the problem. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to sit here and literally grind to get this candy. Oh, that's so so sucky, man. And I'm pretty sure all of my accounts are like this. I'm pretty sure I have no candy on all my alt accounts. But the good thing is all my alt accounts, as you can see, are very strong. And so that's what our main goal is, is to get 100 million candy. We're going to slowly build up candy thief teams across all of our accounts. And assuming that every hour we're able to get around six pets, uh, the candy thief three enchant, these accounts also have a lot of pet equips, then we should within a day or two be able to have a full candy thief three enchant team across eight accounts, which should hopefully mean we're able to get like millions of candy per hour when AFKing. So that's the goal. But in order to get there, we uh we first need to get 10,000 candy to even unlock the area. Oh, this is so sad. Oh man, was that a grind. I'm definitely not going to do that for all my other accounts. I just want to go up here and see how fast we can beat this boss now that we, uh yeah, now that we could finally unlock this area, boom, 10,000 candy down the drain. And can we go ahead and claim this? Oh, dang it. It's glitched. Wait, what if I reset? said it. No, what's wrong? Oh, bro. I thought I was actually chilling. I thought I could skip a free tier. Dang it. Okay. Let's go ahead over here and see Mr. Pumpkin Guard. Oh my gosh. Absolutely destroyed him. And we get 65 Halloween candy. So we don't want 65 candy. We want a lot more than that. So we're just going to chuck all of our strength and octop octopuses. Since we're not using them to get strength anymore, we might as well just go ahead and, you know, repurpose them, get candy thief and chance on them and uh, call it a day. So we're going to just, so now I'm going to make sure I get all my counts here in this last zone and then start working on getting candy thief and chance in the enchanted well while also grinding me if i'm already here i might as well continue grinding we're only going to make around 65,000 candy per hour per account which doesn't sound bad but trust me that's only enough to open like 10 of those eggs over there so it's not a lot but slowly and surely again over the next day or maybe two days we're going to get a full candy thief team on all of our accounts and then we're really going to be raking in the candy but i'll catch back up with you all tomorrow after we've already got a good chunk of pets here with candy thief and and after we've AFK'd this boss for quite some time. It has been about 24 hours and man, oh man, do we have some updates for you, some good and some bad. Now the first things first, you see on this game, we have 2.7 million candy, which is a lot. And we were able to AFK on seven alt accounts. So we basically have like 2.7 million on every one of our alt accounts. So that's around 20 million candy between our alt accounts and our main account. I think it has around like 8 million candy because it has a much better candy thief team. So right now, 24 hours AFK on 27 million candy. Not bad, but not great. And that is because one issue that I realized I started facing. And that is the fact that these enchanted pets, well, maybe the day the update came out, they were were Kenny Thief 3, but now, whoa, that's a Kenny Thief 5. What the heck? Okay, that's actually crazy. Uh, I was gonna say, I thought that they were all guaranteed to be Kenny Thief 3, which wouldn't really make any sense, but as you can see, we have Kenny Thief 1, 3, 3, 3, 2, 1, 5, which is crazy. 3, 2. So it, the, the, the boost is a little bit lower than I was anticipating. Uh, and what are the new ones we just got? Are Kenny Thief 3, 1, 3. So yeah, not bad, but we still have a lot of pets left to uh, enchant. The, that, that's also kind of the slow part every 30 minutes hopping on and all of our alt accounts and enchanting them it's just a very slow and tedious process so we're making progress we just were getting around 120 candy per defeat now we're getting 135 so again every time we enchant the pets we're getting around an extra 10 candy per defeat which is around an extra 10,000 candy per hour which is good but again i just have to make sure i'm actually staying on top of things so over the next 24 hours again maybe we can get our candy production up to 250 every time we beat the boss what is that to see something else i did realize as well which is really really stupid i've defeated this boss i mean 
I don't even know. Is there a boss index anymore? Stats? Total boss? No. I don't know if there's a boss index, but we have absolutely sauced this pumpkin guard for a long time. And the crazy thing is, we don't have a single Halloween crate. You're telling me that we're going to beat this boss like hundreds of thousands of times and not a single Halloween crate will be in our inventory? Bro, that's crazy. Like, what, what? what's the point? I thought that's how you get arm crates is by beating bosses. Whatever. We're just here for the candy. We're going to keep getting more and more and more candy. And so uh, I'll catch you guys in another 24 hours when hopefully we are even more rich. 24 hours later. It has now been another 24 hours. And as you can see, we've made a lot of progress. I think the last time, I think this time yesterday, we only were getting, I think, around like 120 candy every time we beat the pumpkin guard. But now we're getting nearly 202 candy every time we beat him. And that's basically on all of our accounts. But we've been encountering a problem. And that's the fact that I can't actually craft any more pets or I can't select any more pets. Now I can. But as you can see, I can't scroll. I can't like get any new pets to, to make better or like to put into this machine because as you can see, Candy Thief, luckily now uh, we're seeing a few more pets we can throw in there. But basically, I've kind of slowed down on like uh, enchanting my pets because it's just been hard to enchant new pets. Uh, we went from 202 to 208 candy. So we're slowing down a little bit on the progress in terms of uh, upgrading our team. But getting 200 candy every time we beat him is basically around 200 K candy per hour on each account. And since each of our alt accounts has around 7 million candy, that would be 7 times 7. So we have around 50 million candy on our alt accounts, plus I think like 12 million or maybe even more on our main account. So we have like 60 million candy. But guys, I don't want to open 60 million candy. I want to open 100 million candy. Okay, you see that? See the 100 million candy. That's what I'm doing. It's either doing that or bust. So we're going to keep on working through our pets. And honestly, I want to see, does this just choose the best pet? Because it might be worth it for me to just uh, open a few eggs here and then use these pets to actually enchant. Okay, well, now I can't even see. Okay, let me hop on a different account and see if my strategy works. Because basically, I can't scroll and I can't keep enchanting pets because the game just won't let me do it, I promise. All right, back in another account. Let's see, we can claim our pets. And then again, I can't scroll or anything like that. But I'm wondering if these pets are going to be a little bit better. Uh, I just want anything. I don't even care how good they are. The ant, the ant, sure. Let's take another ant. I really just want to test if they're going to pop up at top. If they do, that'll be great. And the ants are also going to be, I think, better or they'll be on my team. What? See, again, I, I, how do I enchant these, bro? Wait, what if I unequip all? Is it my, my equip, bro? I'm so cooked. I don't know. What if I just equip the ants? Like, this is what I'm saying. I can't enchant more pets. I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we could put these in here anyways because we at least have the option right now. But outside of that, I, I, I guess we're just kind of screwed. I don't know. But we're, we're getting a lot of candy. It, it seems like it'll take at least another day of grinding, maybe another day and a half of grinding. So let's put back on our teams. Make sure we're grinding away candy. Because again, I, I want to open 100 million. I want to spend 100 million candy in this event, which is so much. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in 24 hours. Well, 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 gamers. It has been a few days of straight nonstop grinding. And we did it. We have over 100 million candy across all of our accounts accounts, which is just wild to say. And so, well, we're going to be dropping bolos of candy right here, right now. And we're going to be starting things off by picking up a bunch of these skeleton ducks. Now, I really like these because one, they're guaranteed best for Nate. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but that sounds pretty dang good to me. And secondly, there's a really small chance best friend and a really, really small chance at best friend 10. But I consider myself a man of chance. I'm down to go and pick up a few of these across all of our accounts before we go and waste them. Wait, what? Ah, oh, dang it, best friend 8. That's not what I wanted. I was gonna say, before we just go and spend and, and pretty much waste a bunch of our candy over here on this site, because again, the chance is really small. But if we get this, again, guarantee best for eight or best for nine, best for 10, pretty much the same chance as that uh, duck over there. But the best thing is we actually get this duck and we can just outright purchase it and there's not that small chance. So across all of our accounts, again, we have like 110 million candy. And I think on my main account, I'm just going to be opening eggs and that's it. And so let's go ahead and make sure our luck team is on. And we have, let's put a luck two potion on 150 percent uh egg luck boost as well as void golden potion is there anything else i don't think so i think we should have some pets with those luck charms right no i mean i have a bunch of these pets or a bunch of like giga pets with a bunch of luck charms on them right yeah i think so these should definitely be on our team what, what are they what are they doing not on there all right that should be these are all of the ones that are luck charms applied which should give us a big boost but i think we also we should have some more luck charms listen if we're opening all this candy i'm making sure we're as lucky as humanly possible. And we have 18 luck charms. Jeez. So I think I'm just going to keep putting them on some wizard dominuses. Uh, 
that don't already have charms because why not unless there is is there any other giga pets that would make sense i don't have charms on them maybe this uh the giga princess rabbit because they, they can they can have multi-purpose you know winner winner five and some other goodies on them okay there we go few more luck charms that should do the trick and so if i'm not mistaken we should begin really lucky but with 25 million candy that's only five thousand eggs on this account oh my gosh and this is a one in 250 thousand well by being able to open 30 at a time oh my gosh bro i'm hoping we get something from this oh we already get a one in what is that one in a hundred thousand haunted overseer what is the multiplier of this wait i thought this was a what this is supposed to be a best friend pet what no way did i just get scammed haunted phantom this is it the, ha the haunted baby haunted overseer i i just got this why is it not best friend it literally is only 150 of these exist wait there's no way only 153 of these baby bro these are so bad only 4.2x multiplier oh my gosh and you're telling me it wasn't even enchanted bro oh my gosh okay we got another one we got another one please tell me this one is at least oh what is going on and bro our luck is through the roof but we're not actually getting any like what i don't want these non oh my gosh i mean i think we have to just commit to it now but bro what the heck you're kidding me what's the point of this i'm getting all these non best friend pets i'm not getting anything man where'd my luck go oh no another one please please tell me it's what i'm looking for okay we're just getting scammed we are literally just getting scammed what is this dude all right well i don't want to burn all of my candy on this egg so i think for now i'm just gonna try to buy a bunch of these and maybe try to get a best friend nine or something crazy and just see if the developers know what's going on because i didn't spend four days grinding to get false advertising hey it says best friend seven eight nine i haven't got a single thing and it says best friend eight nine ten okay well, i haven't found this egg yet or i haven't found this pet yet but i'm assuming we would find some and when i do find it i don't want it to have no enchant so uh i'm just gonna start buying a bunch of these ducks on my different accounts and uh let you guys know when i hear something it's a few hours later and i don't know what happened uh i i think that we're just gonna have to burn our candy and uh just say ggs i did manage to buy a lot of these skeleton ducks i think even on this account yeah we got a ton so each one of our alt accounts should have around 10 of these and so our plan is let me go first see any best friend nines nope our plan is uh to go ahead and just say screw it open as many eggs as we can across all of our accounts with max luck max max everything really and then uh, once we've done that we're going to transfer all of these skeleton ducks over to our accounts and then combine them up and make some truly crazy pets and so let's go ahead and get started ripping open these eggs again which again kind of pains me considering that man it's just uh, we're not getting the juices but say goodbye to 12 million candy and hopefully to some rare pets in just a second well we've gone ahead and opened 25 5 million candy worth of eggs onto this account and we're, we're looking for the haunted hydra hydra don't see it haunted no nope. wow that is nuts we didn't get her on this account. are you kidding me well maybe it's good we're actually opening all these eggs on all these other accounts because if we didn't get it on here i at least need to get it on one of my accounts bro how many of the uh haunted overseers I mean, we got a good few of them oh and now maybe they did seem to fix it i mean let me just make sure that's correct oh no that was because the back drop dang it yeah i guess we're just absolutely cooked sick <laughs> okay we just got done opening like 25 million candy worth of pets on some alt accounts and we got two uh, of these pets we got one void and one normal i i don't know what's happening i I feel scammed. The good thing is, if we go check out skeleton ducks, yeah, we have a lot of them. So I guess it's good that I went ahead and purchased about a hundred of these across all of my accounts because without this, we'd probably walk it away nearly empty-handed. But I think we have right around like 30 million candy across four more alt accounts. So we're gonna get to crack and open eggs on those accounts and just pray at this point. We're throwing up a prayer to someone because man, oh man, it is so tough to get anything good from these eggs. But gamers, I'll see you in a second once we opened up some eggs. We're accepting the very final trade offer from our alt accounts. So you guys just saw me open up a bunch of eggs right there. And man, oh man, do I have something to show you guys. After spending 100 million candy, we managed to get not a single one of the hydras. You're kidding me. This pet is one in 100,000. The other pet is one in 250,000. I don't understand. We got, what is this? 12 of these pets. The haunted overseers. I don't care. I don't want these. None of them have 
best friend in chance. And the really crazy part is not a single haunted Hydra, bro. Just unfortunate, I guess. The good part is we did get about 100 skeleton ducks. So we're going to go through right now and see if any of them are best friend nine because they're guaranteed best friend eight, which uh, I do think if you guys made it to this far in the video, go and comment your name down below in the comment section. Make sure you like today's video because I'm definitely going to be gifting a good chunk of these away to some of you guys who comment your name down below. So uh, if you haven't already done that, slap it on down there. Make sure I, you guys are subscribed to the channel. Oh, there we go. We did manage to get one best friend nine skeleton duck. That's nice. And then probably a bunch of best friend eights. I mean, considering it's a 1% chance, could have been unluckier. But man, I should have just bought like 200 of those because then I would have actually got a good pet. Got, you know, something to enchant. Got an enchantment on it too. But man, that is unfortunate. I know there's going to be another part to this update. It seems like just in about 24 hours from when I post this video. And so we're going to be back. We're going to be checking out what's inside of this castle because I hope it's something actually worth it. And I hope whatever pets are in there, they actually give us the right enchant on them. But as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to drop like also for my misery because man, we spent days, like four or five days of my life grinding candy just to, to burn it in like 20 minutes. So uh, that was all for you guys, all for the content. Again, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I did have fun. And again, comment your name down below if you want a chance to get some of these pets. But with all being said, it's been your boy Quack. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.